Hiya folks, Al here. My Home Hero Episode 3 is out so without further ado let's jump into it. At first we see the events that happened before Tetsuo and his wife Kaysen got attacked, we see Tetsuo having a light talk with his boss about his absence. Then we see police patrolling near Reika's apartment. Tetsuo cleaning the apartment. Kaiochi reports to Kubo about how they figured out that Tetsuo probably lied about the stalker story. He asks permission to make a move but Kubo says not to make a fuss and that they only need to make sure that Nobuto is safe. Meanwhile we see Reika talking with Kaysen about how her friends asked her if she has a stalker or not and how some guys inquired her friends about the stalker. Kaysen instantly realizes what's going on and informs Tetsuo. Now the attack makes way more sense to me. Also I think Tetsuo's boss might play some part later on in the story because of how he got portrayed during this episode. Next we cut back to the attack, it appears that Kaiochi disobeyed Kubo's order and made a move out of desperation. They take Tetsuo to an abandoned place and start torturing him in various ways to get the truth out of him. Kaiochi punches Tetsuo on the face multiple times, cuts his face, kicks him down from the second floor and whatnot. This was so brutal and so realistic that it can give most people a scare. The more unnerving part was how Tetsuo handled this whole situation, he literally used his pain to make his words appear as true. I seriously don't think his background is normal. We see that thanks to Kaysen's warning beforehand, Tetsuo came up with a story about how only they know about the stalker and how they hired a private detective Suzuki to investigate the stalker. In the previous episode when Kaiochi talked with Tetsuo at Reika's place, Tetsuo introduced himself as Suzuki and Faze was covered up because he was wearing cleaning gear. Next we see Kaysen answering the same things to Kaiochi's underlings at her house, Kaiochi asking Tetsuo if he knows Nobuto was at Reika's place the other day or not. Tetsuo says Suzuki told him that he saw Nobuto coming out of the apartment very pissed. While all of this is going, Kaiochi gets a call from Nobuto's dad Madori, he tells Kaiochi that Kaiochi won't be in charge of this task anymore and that Madori might give up on the organization if Nobuto is dead. Tetsuo and Kaisen should get awards for their acting skills, honestly I don't think people can be this prepared and composed in real life. The episode ends with Kaiochi trying to kill Tetsuo as a last attempt to retain his job and Tetsuo telling Kaiochi he can join him. I really can't predict where the story is headed but nonetheless a great episode and Tetsuo's voice actor really nailed it this episode. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video and want to see me make more then hit the like button and subscribe, if you want to say something then leave a comment. You can also follow me on Twitter or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description, until then see ya.